Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Johnny McAwesome. Uh, today I'm going to actually just start doing a, a how-to almost on each droid individually. I know I already did a video where I've got all five of them in there, but I felt the video was rather rushed and I might have looked over some of the information, uh, you know, sort of breezed over it too quickly and didn't really elaborate on what we got going on. So since that video, if you take a quick look at just my droids, HK-47 has been geared up to gear 10. I finally got those last stun cuffs I needed. Thank you to my guildies. Those de those donations were very, very helpful. I mean, I still need a lot of stun cuffs, but it was great to get the hump of HK-47 done. So, with that being said, we're going to start with, with my buddy, HK-47, the assassin droid. Uh, he is our leader. I'm actually currently working on fixing up his mods. I have a really nice um, a nice potency mod that's a 5 dot, so it's going to give him a little bit more. And it is critical damage, so that's going to help a lot in the long run. But I'm waiting until I have the ability to force it, or, or at least a critical damage um, uh, triangle in here. The, sp like the arrow, that's that'll happen whenever. Hopefully I get one that's... Know, got some speed on it that'd be beautiful but we'll take what we can get and then be picky and choosy later anyways so this is the mod that I'm gonna put on there eventually uh, it's only level 12 right now however it's got some critical chance some base offense uh, some additional health and some tenacity the bottom two stats don't really matter HK has fantastic survivability by himself yes I realize I use the word fantastic far too often but it's, it's just in my repertoire, all right? I don't, I don't have that many adjectives to choose from. <clears throat> all right, so the critical chance is wicked for him. Like, who can, like, that, that's just what we want to have. We want to have, the potency is really going to help out. Like, this will be, I think, 24% once it's at level 15, which, as you can see, I'm completely broke right now, so that, that might take a while. Um, but I want to keep stuff like the critical damage mods that I have on him, if possible. Uh, the 5.88% offense, again, it's flat offense, so even when he's not critical hitting, he's still doing some solid damage. I'd prefer if this had some speed on it. HK is incredibly slow right now, um, like even his arrow, it's, it's got two speed on it. That This should be, like, if it was a 4 dot, it should be, I think, 26 speed, plus hopefully another bit of speed, but, like, he really has no speed buffs on him right now, a little 5 speed on here. This mod doesn't really need to change. It's solid. It's got, again, flat offense, some speed, protection. It's a really good mod for him. Um, so if we go over here, this obviously needs to go up to a 5 dot, which I do have 5 dot critical damage. Again, um, I'm sort of weighing my options on this one. I lose the 3 speed. However, I gain some flat offense. I gain an additional 2% crit chance and 1.7% potency. So, as you guys know, with landing HK's debuffs, I want potency. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, now, what I have considered doing is I've considered I do have some guys with potency mods. So, let's take a look here real quick. Uh, go to mods. Okay, so, not fives, because his mod is crap. How about Tebow? So, Tebow's got a 26 mod here, plus 3.77%. Uh, potency, so that is like great. Um, that one's actually really good as well. So keeping that wouldn't be too bad with my health critical damage that I have. Uh, what do we have here? This is three speed, three point five three percent potency, five point one nine percent crit chance. This might be a really good mod to take off of, of Tebow once we go into the raid. So I would take this, um, the diamond, as well as the speed arrow. And instantly, HK is going to be much better. Plus, he's going to get that two-piece um, damage bo or two-piece uh, potency bonus. Sorry, um, which I mean, as you can see, his mods are definitely a work in progress. I've been farming mods like crazy. I just seem to have the worst luck possible. So let's start going through his stats. Since he hit gear ten, he's got thirty thousand protection. So he's going to live quite a while. Twenty thousand health. I mean, 50 k between the two of them. That's pretty awesome. His speed's only 110. This is what I was talking about. He's so incredibly slow. It takes him forever to get a turn. Uh, his critical damage has not changed since last time to 176.25. 
That's strictly because of this 26.25 critical damage. Um, the whole reason I'm trying to get this set is once I get the set bonus, let's just scroll in here. So once I get the four, four piece set bonus all at level level 15, we're gonna get an additional 30% crit damage. That's gonna put them up to, right now, 206 and a quarter, which is still really good. Uh, it'd be additional 30% on here, which is awesome. So 60% potency with, I believe it's just this 21% here. Do we have any other potency going on? Okay, so no, it's, it's just this 21% potency. So once this mod is up at 15, it's already going to give me up to 63% potency. Uh, then if I look at, you know, the, the two-piece mods that I was looking at before, that's going to give me much better potency. However, I'm not sure if I really want potency mods on here. Um, if I do potency mods, I'm going to lose out on that critical damage because I won't have enough space for critical chance as well. Um, crit chance is pretty important. I mean, if we go, if we keep scrolling down, health steal 5%, tenacity 23. Tenacity is not great on him, but he doesn't really need it. I mean, he, he's not really the focus. He doesn't have a taunt, and we have Nevin in the lineup to sort of shelter him from damage anyways. Um, armor, again, not necessary. Special damage, yeah. So let, let's go back to the actual damage. He's sitting at uh, 2,099 or 2,100. Uh, ideally, I'd like to have that around 2,500 or so, but wait a minute, why can't I see this? All right, let's go in this way. There we go. Now I can actually see my modifiers, which is what I want to see. So I've already got 237 additional offense on there. So the, getting it up back, past even like 2300 is is really pushing it. Um, so that being said, uh, the crit chance, he's only got a 6% boost in there. That could easily go up, hopefully to around 40, because then with his leader buff, he's getting about 70% chance to crit. Um, the potency will get pushed up. Well, let's go back to that for a second. The potency is at 60% now. Like I said, we'll get it up to 63. If I go with potency mods, we're looking at around 73 or so. Or even if we just get good secondaries with potency on them. I mean, you saw a couple of my secondaries. They had over 3% potency just in the secondary. So we could, in theory, get them up to 70, 75 without too much hassle, provided I actually start getting some good luck on my drops. Um... The whole reason again why we want the potency is this 25% chance is not a very not very good odds, but you have the 25% chance to inflict any of these five essentially. So um, the 25% chance is on each uh, debuff. So in theory, you should always at least land one debuff if you have high enough potency. I understand it's all separate RNG rules, but in theory, because there's so many of them and so many odds, you, sh you should be able to land at least one. Uh, best ones you want to have are speed down and defense down on the on the tank itself. Uh, the turrets, you don't really care. Like it, it doesn't really affect anything you do with just the turrets. Uh, I mean, yeah, it makes IG-88 do a little bit more damage, but it's not really necessary by itself. So it's important to have Assassin Protocol, the leader ability, omega because droid allies gain 30% critical chance and gain 50% turn meter on a critical hit. So the higher your critical chance, the more you crit. The more you crit, then you get another 50% turn meter, and you get to go again a lot faster. Having speed is a good bonus to that. Uh, that's why I want to beef up HK's speed a little bit. Uh, where he sits right now at 110, it like it's so slow. So even if he does crit, unless he crits twice using his AOE, it's still going to be a little while before he gets another turn. Uh, reconstruction, this doesn't really matter. I mean, by the time we get to the Enrage timer um, on Phase 2, even if HK does revive, unless his turn meter was at 99% when he died, he's still not going to have a turn and he's just going to get shot again and die again. So it's just really, it, it delays your death by about a second. Superior Firepower, this ability actually does a decent amount of damage if it crits. If it crits, I see it usually go around 9, 10k. If it's a, if it's a damage crit on an assist, it actually goes and does, you know, 12, 13, sometimes 15,000. I've actually seen him hit pretty solidly with this ability. Um, 
And I, I actually have never actually paid attention to the 55% chance to gain offense up for three turns. I assume with potency that, again, will have a much better effect. But his potency really hasn't changed yet. But he, he has gone up quite a bit in power. I believe last time we saw him, he was at about 7,700 or so. Uh, I've only put the one piece of gear on him. Um, I plan on uh, getting this one for him before the next tank raid, and this one for sure. The reason being is these ones are pretty easy to farm. Like, I mean, 20 pieces of this, which I can find in a bunch of different places. So it's, it, it shouldn't be much of an issue to get 20 pieces. Uh, but right now, he's... He's not being farmed at all right now. If I happen to get a piece like this from the raid, if uh, IG-88 and IG-86, since they are the more important damage dealers, if they're taken care of first, then I will gladly toss a piece on HK. Um, uh, again, what do you know? He needs another set of stun cuffs. Uh, what are the odds of that? But this piece would be really nice. I mean, the strength will help. It gives a bit more health and something else. Physical damage. So the physical damage buff will be nice. The health doesn't really matter. Uh, stun gun, Mark V stun gun. Uh, this piece, you can get it from challenges, I believe. Is it challenges? Yeah, strength gear challenge. So with the new with the new quality of life update, this will be farmed pretty regularly, pretty easily. And then, I mean, getting the stun cuff pieces, that's really just luck of the draw if I happen to get something decent from the raid that I can actually use. Um, although I'm getting a lot of furnace fragments right now, which when I go to level up my clones, that's going to be very handy. But for now, it doesn't really do me much good. So he has quite a bit of work before I can get him to gear 11, but with what he has, I mean, what I've got to work with on him, I think he's done, like I've done a large number on improving him. Right now, for improvements on him, I'm focusing strictly on his mods. Once his mods are up to snuff, and I've got him to at least 200% critical damage, and hopefully a higher critical chance, then we're laughing. But, I mean, like, the critical damage is... I'm sort of weighing the options right now. Is it better for me to get that 200 plus critical damage on a guy that I'm more relying on his debuffs? Or should I really just pump that potency as high as I can get it, and get some speed in there, and then just hope that he, you know, gets some crits in there, but, I mean, it's, it's not really his damage I'm concerned about. It's really IG-88, IG-86, so I want to help them as much as possible. So, for now, I'm thinking if I don't have better mods by the time the raid rolls around, I'll definitely throw on those potency mods in the here. That'll give him at least another 26 speed. It'll give him actually higher crit chance, and it will actually give him a lot more potency. I, I think with the 10% piece bon or the 10 bonus, what were we looking at here, t -bone. What else we got here? So this has another three and three quarter percent, and this has another three and a half percent. So that's looking at like that's just over another seven percent. So we're looking at instead of the sixty-three he'll have because the three from the cross or the plus sign, whatever you want to call it, plus he's going to have the other seven. He's going to hit seventy percent potency if I do that. He's also getting a flat five percent. Like this is a fan. This is like an awesome, awesome diamond mod for uh, for potency. I can't believe I got it. I mean, 5% critical chance on one mod. Yeah, that 3 speed sort of sucks, but 5% crit chance on one mod? Like, that's the 2-piece mod bonus is 5% crit chance. Um, never mind. Okay, so this is not about Tebow. This is all about HK. So, I'll probably end up using that diamond and that arrow. It's going to boost his speed by 29, I think, was between the two of them. I'm not sure if the arrow had more speed secondary... Either way, another 29 speed on him. He's almost at 140 at that point, and I mean he'll he'll get a lot more he'll get a lot more chance to go. So even if he doesn't do as much damage on his crits, he still has that boost of 26 percent. Um, he's he's still in good shape. So I do have some flexibility and versatility with him right here. So right now it's more I'm just deciding what to do with him, but I'm not going to do too much with him until until it's raid time, until we're close to that raid, and I just say, you know what, I'm not getting these mods I need, or yeah, I really got a nice set I want to throw on, then I'll, I'll make that decision just closer to raid time. Anyways, guys, um, I should be back shortly here. Whoops. <laughs> I should be back uh, quite shortly here. I'm going to, 
going to save this, upload it to YouTube, and then I'm going to get right on working on, I believe, an IG-88 video for you. So hopefully I can get that up tonight too. Alright, thanks for watching guys.